Hello there. It's a genie in a bottle and a damn fairy on. Ah, oh, man, I wish I could play a ball. That, that bridge right there for 50 is so good. Oh, man, what's going on, guys? My name is Ellie Moses, a 24-year-old law and film student here from Sydney, Australia. Law and film student here from Sydney, Australia. Absolutely shooting your shot. And today, we are up to episode three of The Wire Season 1. This one is titled The Buys. And as you can see, I like to get in the mood before these reactions. I like to hype myself up a bit. And I started on the intro a little bit. But we keep it natural. We keep it going we keep it flowing and yeah we're gonna get into the reaction we're gonna absolutely have some fun with this thing this show is pretty good so far and i'm expecting it to just get better and better and better and better let's get into the reaction let's have some fun with this thing let's absolutely smash it let's go yo this shit is late yeah they still violent up usually come off the chain street ready but this time they got a vial you don't got any tussles man yeah later later Man. Nigga, it ain't even nine o'clock and you fiending on it. Get the fuck out of here, man. Damn. Yo, why you act like that, yo? What for these junkie motherfuckers? So you just gonna take his money all day and cheat him like a dog? How I'm supposed to cheat him? I don't know. But you ain't gotta punk him like that. Punk this so. He goddamn drug at him. And you a goddamn drug dealer. So? So what? Oh, what? The customer's always right? <laughs> Yo, we're in the projects. The customer be fucked up. Can't get these niggas shits, man. Why not? Why can't you? Shit, anything else in the world gets sold without people taking advantage, scamming, lying, doing each other dirty. Why I gotta be that way with this? Because they dope things. Yeah, but the game ain't gotta be played like that, yo. You can't tell me this shit can't get done without people beating on each other, killing each other, doing each other like dogs. Without all that, you ain't got 5 down here on our backs every five minutes. Throwing us around and shit. Shit, man. You think 5-0 would care about niggas getting high in the projects? Man, 5 would be down here about the bodies, yo. That's what they be down here about. The bodies. He's speaking facts. <laughs> but at the oh, same shit. time, if there's a massive drug operation going down, down, they want to hunt it down. And I, I love this opening thus far, and I wish, I wish they kept it with the one take opening scene, how he had sort of like the the medium long shot of the boys looking over the alleyway or onto the road, and then it straight away the camera sort of spun around, um, focused on the Angelo, and it kept that handheld camera movement going. And I love that handheld camera movement. It's almost like a POV shot. It's almost as if the camera itself is a character. It's almost as if you're part of the boys in this group. You're part of this conversation, maneuvering around. Um, and just observing the entire conversation and i they continue to do that they continue to have this camera going around in like sort of a 360 motion or like a 180 motion around the group as d'angelo's talking and cutting from character to character and now we got bubbles coming into the situation <laughs> and i like that it keeps it grounded it keeps you immersed it makes it feel like you're in the projects there with them and i love that we know someone on the roof. We know someone on the roof. <laughs> Him we know. Yeah, he he spun him around for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the king stayed a king. The Angelo. Three witnesses statements. All of them saying the officer's assault on the youth was unprovoked. Criminal history is on our three witnesses. One longer than the next. Drugs, weapons, assault, more drugs. Shit birds throwing dirt at good police. Just the same, Lieutenant. Shut up, Lieutenant. We think whatever tactic led you to send three plainclothes officers to do field interviews at the high rises at two in the morning. I tell you, yes, I screwed up. I tell you, no. I'm putting my men in the jackpot. Do you still want me to answer? And Lance Reddick is so good. He's so good. It's good. a good man that's willing to take one for the company. Hell with the company. I'm defending my own people here, that's all. What Major Valchek means to say is that he's grateful that you extended your support on behalf of Officer Presbaluski. Fuck up that he is. He should be off the street. What can I say? The kid needs a... Uh, a little guidance, a little supervision. Stan here thought that if you got a young officer back on the street where he might start over. A new unit, a uh, new lieutenant. You know, that it might bring him around. I understand he messed up here. I understand that. 
which is why I'm saying to you, I owe you for walking him through this grand jury thing. And to compensate, Southeastern is sending you two new unmarked units and a surveillance van. Plus, you need manpower while these guys are busy with this IID thing. All you do is ask. Yeah, it took it. It took Presbuski to stop. Is that is Presbuski banging this guy's daughter? Is that the guy or no? So Am I wrong? With you, That's what I'm saying. Well, deputy, always a pleasure. Yeah, it took one major stuff up for them to finally get a bit of you know help with this investigation to get some Unnecessary manpower. Evil. Been working on him two weeks and we don't even have a photo. It's fucking embarrassing. Hey, Pat. Huh? We've got a job for you guys to try to run down. What is it? Need a photo of this guy Barksdale. Need to know what he looks like. So go down to the B of I. Well, you hey. see, that's the problem, guys. You see, Barksdale's never been arrested as an adult. So we don't really have a B of I photo. The, the king stays the king. There's no point for the king to leave his castle and enter the kingdom and show face if he doesn't need to. There's no way Avon Barksdale is going to put himself in the projects like that and isolate himself like that. There's no need to. The king conducts his operations. He has minions to do that. Come on, man. We know how this works. <laughs> his juvenile record, he had expunged. There's no photo there either. Then you fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. But uh, as soon as we all came into work today, I thought, what the hell, let's try something different. So, we know from his mother's social service record that Barksdale grew up in Franklin Terrace, right? Well, it occurred to me, being vaguely familiar with the high-rises of West Baltimore, that the housing project began to take photos of every registered resident as a security measure. Am I correct, Detective Greggs? Yeah. So you want us to get out of the housing department and uh, pull this photo? Excellent. You know, you and I, we think as one. We're like two horses <laughs> together in hearts. I keep thinking, I keep remembering <laughs> Dominic West is English or from the United <laughs> sure, Kingdom, you know, and he puts on a great American accent. Same with Idris Elba. Trying to run down a few new leads. I mean, I just watched Boring. Pacific Rim the other day. Work, but if you don't want to travel uh, to the housing department, yeah. I'll switch with you. Fuck it, Patrick. Let's take a ride. They're really good at it because it almost feels like it's their natural voices. They don't come off as a, as an accent. They don't slip up or anything. Chestnut checkers, baby. <laughs> That's a violation to the chessboard. It's simple. See this? It's the kingpin. Alright? And he the man. You get the other dude's king, you got the game. The king you says to the get king. king too, so you got protected. Now the king, he moved one space. Any direction he damn choose, cause he's the king. Like this, 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 right? But he ain't got no hustle. But the rest of these motherfuckers on the team, they got his back. And they run so deep, he really ain't gotta do shit. See? I just talked about the king yeah, doesn't need wrong. to go out of his castle. You he let this? the pawns do the work. She's smart, she fierce. She move any way she want, as far as she want. And she is the go get shit done piece. <laughs> Remind me of Stringer. <laughs> And this over here is the What castle. did I say? What did I say? It's like the stash. You move like this and like this. Dog, stash don't move, man. Come on, yo, think. How many times we move the stash house this week? Right? And every time we move the stash, we gotta move a little muscle with it, right? To protect it. True. True. We right. Is All that right. the pawns? What about some little <laughs> bald headed bitches right there. Alright, these right here. <laughs> These are the pawns. The bald headed the bitches. <laughs> they move like this. One space forward only. Except when they fight. And it's like, like Diagonal. This. And they like the front lines. They be out in the field. So how do you get to be the king? It ain't like that. See the king, stay the king. Alright? Everything stay who he is. Except for the pawns. Now for pawn, made it all the way down to the other dude's side. You get to be queen. Like I said, the queen ain't no bitch. 
got all the moves. <laughs> all right. So, if I make it to the other end, I win. If you catch the other dude's king and trap it, then you win. All right, but if I make it to the end, I'm top dog. Nah, yo, it ain't like that. Look, the pawns, man, in the game, they get capped quick. <laughs> they be out the game early. <laughs> Unless they some smart ass pawns. That is true. And you know how to use them. <laughs> oh man, that was such a good scene. Movie. Nah, fuck them over for taste. Hey. We got your picture. Don't you fucking worry, McMullie. Really? So this is Barksdale? Avon Barksdale. I don't think so. Read my lips. Avon fucking Barksdale. His name's on the form in the file. Well, excuse me for giving a shit, but I can't help but notice this is a middle-aged white man. Hey, you want something different? You give me another name. That's Shaking my head, Avon man. Avon Barksdale in the housing department file. You got your smokes? Have a nice fucking day. Maybe he's white. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I mean, really, look, hey, well, what do we really know? Educated Baltimore City schools, early addresses in the same public housing where he now controls the drug trade. No flash with no profile. Pretty much comes up out of nowhere. No work history, no tax information we can look at, no cars in his name, no driver's license, no kids. He's smart, man, he's smart. No priors either. Oh, yeah, there's, there's vague CI information to states he stays in various departments out in the county. He likes to work out and used to box golden gloves when he was young. Been working on this guy for two weeks, and the truth is, we don't know shit. Golden gloves. How do you get that? I don't know. I, uh, I think I got that from a DEA file. Go right down to the gym. Uh, from a CI. Am I seeing some boxing well, photos? I way back when. So you write everything down? Oh, he know, he know. Everything. It's crazy. Isn't the actor that plays Avon Barksdale the boxing coach in Creed as well? I think he is. He coaches Michael B. Jordan. He coaches Wallace. <laughs> Got blue top. Look for blues. Man, we need to work on the cardio, man. We're a cop and we're, we're getting tired going up the stairs like that. It is one of those gyms, man, where champions are made. You can just tell. There's that Rocky type gym in Philly. Avon Barksdale. Never heard of him. That's the thing. This guy's got the West Side projects locked up. He's tied to maybe a dozen murders. He's completely off the radar. He a ghost, Avon baby, from power. Barksdale. If you say so. DEA has a couple of pages on him from native entries. Nothing in NCIC. No adult arrest. I've been working drugs for the Bureau since 98. I can tell you. I got nothing on him that I know. This little thing is the smile of the week. Watch this. Oh, that's the drug raid. That's the guys that had wired up in episode one. It's a queer case. Not that my boss would give a damn at this point. Why not? Why not? All their mopes and bracelets. Not one of them named Osama. Still I owe you, brother. What do you need? Couple of lightweight body mics, wireless, remote taping capability. Now I could I could be wrong here. Um, but it's interesting that both the Sopranos and this show sort of deal with like um the American society post 9-11. Now I like this show's commentary how in terms of like post 9-11 the American government's attention was sort of directed to terrorism and only terrorism and immigrants and Arab immigrants and Sopranos has a little bit of commentary on that. And because of that, it neglects 
um the actual sort of like or like there's less effort put into these community projects there's less effort um put into like reform because it's a systemic issue in my opinion like you might take out avon park style but there's going to be an individual who replaces that king there's going to be another chess game replacing the existing chess game um and there's pawns that are easily going to be replaced and it's just a full cyclical thing in my opinion um because you see it happen here in australia um and there's communities like this where it's a systemic issue and it's a deeply rooted problem and i talked about it last reaction that needs work from the ground up like it, it's work from the ground up, and it's a lot of work like throwing money at the issue isn't going to save you need actually i don't know it's just it's just, it's like a massive issue to solve and we um have done studies on it in university here especially with the indigenous population um in australia as well and it in rural australia um you know how like sort of like it, it talks about like we've seen films on it um depicted really well and obviously like articles recent research and you know how like poverty stricken those communities are um and it's a deep-rooted issue that needs work from the ground up and sadly sometimes the government just neglects that or there's not enough funding to it and even if there is funding the funding is not going to the right places um so it's sometimes a problem that you can't like even fix and i feel like this show might commentate on that and i don't know if you guys are, will agree with me on this department um and i know i'm going on a rant here but i like to have these mid talks during my reactions and at the same time, we saw it last episode, there might be instances of police brutality on this show. Well, there will be instances of police brutality where the feds themselves, the people who are meant to, you know, root out these issues, they're not obviously, they're being the villains themselves. They're not going about it in the right way. And um, it's sometimes the police who are looking out for a fight. They're the ones trying to instigate the problem and get these individuals, who, you know, uh, who are, you know, minding their own business to poke back. Like, you're going into the bear's den and you're poking the bear without a valid reason. The bear's gonna poke back. Don't be angry when it pokes back. Like, look what they did last episode, going into the thing at 2 a.m. without telling the bosses. They're drunk, off their heads, and they're just, you know, um, stripping down, not even, like, random like they're just stripping down random people in the project so they don't even know um have drugs on them like without any research or anything like that so yeah That's i cannot all. wait to see hey. this show explore everything where i come from we're just happy to be in the 20th century all right who's running the case so i can tell my squad supervisor daniels i have a narcotics all right no problem <laughs> daniels got a history great man there we go again with the handheld camera movement in the projects. I love it. That is not discreet at all. That is not discreet at all. Yeah, you see that? Oh, yeah. They're from the end. That's the stash. It's real raggedy ass shit here, boy. Very sloppy. <laughs> Competing gangs, I'm guessing. How are you kids? Mike, if you're a dog, you're barking at the wrong pussy. What, so I'm a dog now? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Bubs. I date women. Well, there we are. We got something else in common. I date women, too. How <laughs> <laughs> much I wanted to see IDs work this out for me? Shit, want nothing to figure out. I told him. Guess I missed the press conference. Look, it's better that than, than have every police on three shifts hounding you every goddamn day. Cops are dogs. Yeah. It's not like I was, you know, walking around waving some dyke flag in the air or some shit. Yeah. I know I look like I could go either way. Oh, Lord, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> it was just something I had to put out there to get through the day. Should have known. Should have known what? I worked with one other female police officer who's worth a damn. Only one. A lesbian. Yeah. All I know is I just love the job. Big up Greg's man. Big up Greg's. Hey, 
I heard a little bit of Ja Rule. Was that some Ja Rule? Wait. Oh, I thought it was Ja Rule. Wait, is it? I think it's Ja Rule. <laughs> Damn, boy, you must have that cool humming. I don't remember the day we ever got this much from the courtyard. Money name check day. <laughs> doing good out there, D. We be doing even better when we get that new package. <laughs> new package, same as old man. Say what? Ain't no new package. Just gonna put that same shit out in a different color gel cap is all. Might spike that shit with some procaine or some caffeine, but otherwise the same. Strange, man. People already coming back on us, telling us that shit is weak. I know, shit is weak, but, you know, shit is weak all over. But the thing is... No matter what we call heroin, it's gonna get sold. <laughs> Shit is strong, we're gonna sell it. Shit is weak, we're gonna sell twice as much. You know why? Because a fiend, you gonna chase that shit no matter what. You need Walter White Crazy, up in this bitch. Know. Get the purity up. We do worse, <laughs> and we get paid more. That's the crazy. do better, and it don't mean no, never mind. This shit right here, D, it's forever. Forever. That's a bonus right there. You make sure you buy something that you want otherwise. I can't believe he's Thanks. from the UK. You forget that. You forget that. Like I said, I was watching Pacific Rim the other day. And he was cancelling the apocalypse. And then now he's like... <laughs> he's an Arsenal fan too. Big up Idris Elba. I think he is. Yeah, you wanted a drink. And he said no. The other day you wanted a drink. <laughs> Could I get a drink? Great night. You want to ride with us in a van? Nope. Why not? I love how Bubbles is just passing out there. <laughs> Look at Bubbles, man. Some children, that's all you're gonna get. <laughs> Detective Sidner's ensemble is the latest in West Side Project Web. Have your torn camis by Versace. Nah, stained sweatshirt by Ralph Lauren. Where in your mic? <laughs> I, did, man. I figured I ain't gonna go down there anyway, right? Well, no, Sidner, the way you. Twirling around might be the first place they look. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and I ain't showered in two days. I ain't shaved in four. Right now, I'm one bright, nasty son of a bitch. Yo, Bubs. What you think? This your man, huh? Yeah. It's all wrong. Is he low bottom enough for you? Clothes is torn down enough. You can use a little bit more stains. What dirt? What's this here, man? It's my wedding ring. <laughs> Shit, you married to the needle, boy. That shit been pawned off of you for real. Dead giveaway. You don't go down them towers, man. They gonna check everything. Yo, how about the shoes? I mean, I know you ain't got no problem with the shoes. Fucked up as they are. Let me see the shoes, man. Let me see the shoes, man. <laughs> see? You walking down them alleys of the projects, man. You stepping on the dead soldiers. Dead soldiers? Yeah, empty vials. You can't walk down the Baltimore streets without that shit cracking underneath your feet. You want to know if a fiend for real? Check the bottom of his shoes. <laughs> you need to get the makeup department up in this bitch. Some empties before we go out there. FBI makeup department is weak. Let's kill <laughs> Bob's his new friend. <laughs> Yo, the pick up and drop off points are hilarious. <laughs> they got a little bit of scruffle on the face, One everything. And a half. Two to me, two to Bubs, me close enough to market. You wanna go back in? Shit. We cut from every crew out here. Ain't we supposed to go off somewhere and fire this shit up? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Well, now. R.I.P. Michael Kenneth Williams, man. Nothing but touts and runners here. It's never just one 
it's never one syndicate. It's never one like sort of like street gang running things, right? There's always ops. There's always oppositions. And I'm guessing Michael Kenneth Williams' crew here, um, they're observing things and they know the feds are onto them. They're seeing how sloppy the operations are and they're seeing what holes they can pick at, I'm guessing. The watchers are being watched. A few locations at least. But we don't even know what doors to hit. A few apartments in the low rises that we've seen used for stash, maybe. They were right on those. Lieutenant, these guys change stash houses every other day. Look, the man upstairs wants to see a circus. A couple of days from now, I gotta show him three rings. Christ. It's too early, man. I'm sorry. But that's the pressures from upstairs. What are we gonna do? Well, nothing you can do except pound out some probable cause. We're gonna be your fucking night. I'm not. Where the fuck you got to go? No, I mean, I can't. I'm not gonna help them gut the case. I'm sorry. I know he's your lieutenant, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I can't swallow this shit anymore. <laughs> What's the matter, McNulty? No one ever tells you no? Sorry. Should have called. How do you clone a beeper? What? That's what I need to know. You show up at my door at 9 o'clock to ask me that? They're using pagers, right? Every other drug dealer has a cell phone. These guys are all on pagers. <laughs> what do you want to do? Bunker me when we jack up the Barksdale kid. Read that. What is it? An affidavit from a state police case. Judge signs something like that. You can quote a beeper. Nice. Probable cause coupled with an exhaustion argument. You... Got to show the judge that other investigative methods have failed. You'll also need a supervisor who wants you to clone a suspect's pager, knowing that it might lead to, who knows what else, pen registers, wiretaps. Daniels will come around. <laughs> Daniels will have your ass. Hey, look at the way she's looking at him, man. That's it? Don't tell me he been banging her, the, the lawyer. Let me understand. You're married and a date is a room at the Best Western with the blinds closed. Now you're single and a date is you coming over unannounced to learn the legal requisites for a pager intercept. Pretty much. Okay. I hear you. Uh, 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 oh, I'm uh, hearing it. Uh, uh, McNulty, man, you a dog. You a dog. You? You. As if you give a shit. Hmm. You're an asshole, McNulty. <laughs> the fuck did I do? Yo, he go for food? Yep. Why you ain't tell me my stomach drowning like a motherfucker? Starve, nigga. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> real tea. Stink, what up? What's up, bro? Ten minutes, yo. Ten? Yeah. All right. Get your ass down. Get your stupid ass down. Get the fuck down. Shit, stay uh, there, bitch. Yo, get down, get out. Get the fuck down, motherfucker. Hey, yo, where that? Where that, man? Where that, thought Kitchen. I'm in the sink. Hey, yo, go on and get that. Blew out his kneecaps. Get the fuck out of here. Damn, 
wait till Stringer finds out about this. How his boys got rolled up on like that. Even Avon. They got rolled up on like that. They got hit like that. D'Angelo might cop the flak as well for not being there. Western uniforms will meet us in the Mount Clare parking lot. We start there and we don't stop till we take the doors. I want their lookouts to have as little chance as possible. What's with you? I went into the state attorney's My office office. office and I fucked it. <laughs> You don't like the idea of this. I'm not going. You're insubordinate? I'm not jumping out on something I believe is going to harm the case. You want to write me up on that, you can't. You think I want this? I got the deputy ops on my ass for this shit. Now I got you showing me up in front of the whole damn detail. I don't mean to show anybody up. Get your vest on. No. I got police work to do. Motherfucker, if you felt this way, why didn't you call in sick? I'm not sick. Give me a 95 on why you're physically unable to participate in today's police action. What, well, I'm gonna lie so you can save face? Come on, write it up. I can't jump out with the rest of my unit because my tummy hurts. It's not gonna help you gut this case. If you wanna pretend to be a police, you go ahead. The second time you walking out with that jacket like that. No, motherfucker. It ain't just up to stank them to be muscle. You got to pay. Your people supposed to be ready for the re-up. You supposed to be steady for him. But where are you at? You in a goddamn See? salmon shop. Hey. You got $20,000 D coming into your shop, and you ain't even around to see that shit right. Look, I thought no thinking was what you wasn't doing, and now we look like bitches. You feel me? We got to come back on them. And you can't even tell me shit about who they was. One of them was named Omar. Omar? Yeah, Omar, that's the name I heard. And they had a white van. Yeah, I saw the van. Down what kind of van? Five oh, five oh. Really? Even Greg's getting in right now? See, there's... That's excessive, like... Hey, he got the Allen Iverson Sixers jersey on. I got that. <laughs> Any the low rises, what are the chances? Love sort of like in the beginning of the episode, they were lining up obviously to to get their um, little packets of drugs, and then now at the end of the episode, they're lining up to go into the police van. Like it's just a like follow up of the things. Cameras through some of the places we raided. She says, Whatever we got, she'll put on the <laughs> Whatever we got. You got Guns, shit. Weapons. We ain't got shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You got shit. McNulty was right. Thinks they can just go raid these freaking places after two weeks, three weeks of investigations without, like, anyone on the inside properly, without even knowing what rooms to hit. Guy running your case? He's got dirt on him. You know this? Your own agency came to us with concerns about him last year. Integrity questions. They didn't want to take it to internal affairs because that office leaks like a sieve. Yeah, plus the fact they couldn't handle a case if their lives depended on it. Yeah, that too. You looked at Daniel specifically? Yeah, we did a two-month assets investigation. The man's got a couple hundred thousand more in liquid assets than any police lieutenant should ever have. Maybe he goes to Atlantic City. But seriously. Maybe he's invested his money wisely. Maybe he's got other sources of income. True. Maybe he does. We never got the chance to go further. Why not? We brought it back to your agency. The deputy for operations told him what we had. 
You took it a Burrell? Yeah, he says, thank you, we'll take it from here. So we backed away, waited for something to happen, then waited. And that was a year ago? Maybe more. And that fucker's still a supervisor for narcotics. You tell me what the hell's going on. Anyway, if he's running your case, I just thought you'd want to know. Thanks. You can't trust anyone on the police force, can you? McNulty's got his people, obviously he's got his sources on the inside, giving him little tidbits of information. Damn. We ended on that as well. We ended on a note where the captain, the one operating this whole, um, or the one controlling this whole operation is possibly dirty. I'm guessing that's some false information to feed into the view. I don't know. He could have made his money elsewhere. He could have invested his money wisely. It could be his wife. I don't know. Um, questioning the integrity of all the characters in this show. I mean, look at McNulty. He ain't afraid to take risks and <laughs> low blow people to get what he wants. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I, I cannot wait to see and uh, see this show continue to unfold. And at the moment... We're not spending a lot of time in other locations. We sort of got the strip club. You've got obviously the projects and the low rise areas. Um, and there's still a lot of character development. There's still a lot of like engaging scenes to be had in those few locations. And obviously you got like sort of like the hideout underneath the courtrooms where um, or the courthouse where the, the police are. So yeah, um, in very few locations, it's it's killing the story at the moment. It's really, really good. And obviously you yeah, have the police officers here and there. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the show at the moment. And that was probably the best episode thus far, in my opinion. Um, obviously we got the introduction to Omar, um, the ops, I'm guessing. Um, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see that all unfold and obviously um the police in this episode blew their load early no pun intended with mcnulty and the um the the state attorney or one of the attorneys there um but yeah i feel like they blew their load early they hit too early and maybe that was i don't know maybe that's got to do with the higher ups at the police force they they're directing them to hit early so they get nothing out of it so they you know um they brush the case under the water because that's that that's not that's not their interest at the moment it's the other stuff like i said um and maybe they just offered daniels that three weeks or daniels is taking that three weeks you know to make it look like they're doing something and we found nothing bang under the rug again um so yeah it's gonna be interesting and there's always dirty police people in these shows even in the sopranos there's always people that are dirty on the police force it's gonna be interesting to see if this show has the same thing so yeah let's get into it let's get into it i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction we just finished episode three of the wire as always been your boy moses take care god bless peace